Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. This is your first time on my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer TV, pop culture, or Brit tea, I got you covered. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on no, no, ugh, bitch. Uh, turn the notification bells on, honey, because we got to talk, okay? And grab a snack and a drink, bitch, because, you know, tea's always better with snack and a drink, okay? Now, listen, listen, okay? We got to talk because Brittany just came out and said that her mom slapped her, bitch. When I tell you that I am so horny for this book, you won't believe it, bitch, okay? And that is just the damn truth. I need this book. I am embracing my reading. I can't wait to put my glasses on, get some hot cocoa or a glass of wine, bitch, or evolve. Evolve. I'm going to start with a glass of hot cocoa. Then I'm going to grab a wine. Then, no, a smoothie. Okay, let me do a smoothie. Then I'm going to grab some wine. And then I'm going to grab a tequila shot. And then I'm going to go to the gay club. That's going to be the day I read the damn book. Okay, bitch? And I hope that you guys are going to come with me because I'm going to go live while I read the damn book. Okay, listen. We got to talk. Britney Spears' mom slapped her. She came out saying an old story. And the reason I'm doing this video is because it is from that iconic night where Lindsay Paris and Britney were in that car together. Um, I will forever think that is the most iconic picture ever, okay? Like, you have fucking Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan. And after Paris said that Lindsay was not invited, then Lizzie said she was invited, and then Paris said that Lindsay just got in the car. Girl, anyways. So this is the caption. So Britney posted a little clip of Monster-in-Law with J-Lo and um, Jane Fonda when they slap each other, right? So uh, Britney wrote the following and said... Okay, sorry, that's my, my TikToks. Okay, so she says, I swear I've never slapped anyone my whole life. I would give anything to see what that feels like. Just saying. The first time I ever got slapped was the one night Paris and Lindsay dropped me off at my beach house with my babies. Kevin left me at that point. So I had a small beach house and my mother was, was watching Jaden and Preston. Yes, I partied till like 4 a.m. And my mother was pissed. I walked in, she looked at me and hit me so hard that I will never forget it. PSSS, since I've always wondered what it must feel like to slap someone, I've always wondered what it must feel like to slap someone. Guess I will we'll, Guess I will never know. Stay classy, folks. So, okay, first of all, that night. Let's talk about that night. That night, girl, listen, I... Mm, the things I would do to, to just, I, I, bitch, put me in the damn trunk. Put me, because you know, my fat ass won't fit in the, the, no fourth person could fit there, okay? Not even if I was half my size. I would, ooh, or I could like just lay on them like this. Can you imagine that fucking picture? Like, like me on Lindsay and Brittany and Paris just like, ooh, or like now watch me kind of thing. That would be so fucking iconic. Anyways, um, yeah, listen. I think this, I mean, I don't, okay, this is different cultures, you know, this is different cultures, you know, some people believe, don't believe in slapping their children, some people do, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I, you know, I'm Latino, it's very common, unfortunately, when, when the parent, when you do something to piss off your parents, either they grab la chancla and throw it at you, or, you know, you'll get a, like, like a nice slap. Now, granted, my mother has never slapped me, but I don't see the big deal, I, and I truly don't see the big deal, like, why did Lynn have to slap Britney? Like, I mean, just because you have children doesn't mean you can't party, right? And I feel like once in a while you can, right? I don't know. Now, she did, I remember this a lot. She would get criticized often because Britney, it seemed like she was partying quite a lot. I mean, honestly, I just remember like every single day turning on Perez Hilton or X17 online or any of those like online, you know, thingies, or I don't know if TMZ existed then, but maybe it did. Um, and I remember, you know, reading a lot that people were criticizing Britney a lot for hanging out so much with Paris and for never really being, you know, what it seemed like never being home. Um, so yeah, that's definitely up to the parenting, but you know, I wonder like, when is this book coming out? Like that is what I, I, I need to understand when this book is coming out because Britney is sharing so much, right? And like, I love that she shares whatever. That This post has now been deleted, by the way. So Britney is sort of like teasing us or like expressing herself and then quickly deleting. Or like she said, someone, you know, magically post get deleted. Now listen, 
Um, I truly think that I understand why a lot of people, because I did get some comments saying that, you know, they're thinking about unfollowing Britain because it's just getting too much. And like the realness of everything is getting too much and that it's obvious she needs help according to some people. I honestly think that you just don't get it because you haven't had the, the, you, I don't think people understand it very well. And I'll tell you why, because gosh, 13, 14 years of not being able to speak out, not being able to reminisce, not being able to heal old wounds, old traumas, that can do something to you. You know what I mean? You have to talk about it, right? You have to vent. And Brittany is choosing to vent publicly. Some can argue that that's wrong. Some can argue that that's right. I personally, I don't know if I would do it so publicly and I'll tell you why, just because um, I'm a very private person. But I think what Brittany is doing is that she's saying my whole life has been public anyways. I might as well just really put out you know, the truth because there has been so many narratives uh, done for her, so many people talking for her and you know this is the first time she actually gets to talk herself so i think that that is why she is so driven to speak and why she is so driven to get her word out there and the deleting part of it i don't believe anyone is in there i think she's actually the one deleting it i think that she vents and then she like quickly says like oh fuck you know i'm just gonna delete it you know what i mean or it's like part of this promotion this is what i was thinking the other day i was like what if all of these posts are like just ways to promote the book when it comes out. You know, like like get the anticipation rolling. Get it, get it rolling, you know? Because, I mean, Brittany has shared a lot on her Instagram. She shared a lot on her YouTube channel. She has definitely shared a lot. And I think that for Brittany to keep on sharing things, it's great. But I also think that if she wants to, you know, really come out with the book and it to be successful and for people to be, you know, really like, devouring it i would probably say let's keep the anticipation and even though this is her life it's not just like something she's selling um that's why i think it's tricky it has to really be done her way and and that's the thing you guys we might not agree with a lot of things she does but damn anyways what do you guys think of britney coming out telling us the story about that iconic night and when she got home four in the morning Barakata! lynn said bitch you're late It's just a never ending thing like this. This is a never ending thing. And you know what, bitch? I, as long as Britney is healing, she's letting everything out. Then I think it's all good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And girl, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.